should have bought my tripod. Ah, that's okay. Okay, we got the legislator in the back. And not, times have changed. It's not the same like it used to be and nothing will be the same like it used to be. You would come here and then you would, uh, you would see politicians come out and then you would confront them, ask them questions on the issue of the day. And right now, what they call it? Cyber, New Brunswick, cyber security. Anyway, I hear about that, what? Last year or two years ago? There was a knowledge part uptown and uh, they got $1.3 million. And this was for like the internet, cyberspace. And uh, next thing you know, they announced last night, the CEO, the guy I presume that con Higgs into $1.3 million, uh, suddenly left the ship and went home. Where's home? I don't know. Uh, they said it was like that for the last, there was a new CEO, a temporary CEO for the last two months. So, they did a story on it yesterday, $1.3 million. How did that happen? We'll never know because this is New Brunswick. Lulu Media, very small, and they move on to the next issue that Premier Higgs let go a big fart uh, down at King's Place. No, he wouldn't go at King's Place because there, there's nothing there. You see, this is what I don't understand. The issues drop until the uh, Auditor General comes with a report next year about this issue. Which I think, they, I think he did talk about it a little bit last week. But then you have former Lieutenant Press Secretary of the Lieutenant Governor, Tim Richardson. A former journalist stole, I believe, one million dollars or or more, or maybe nine hundred and ninety-nine hundred dollars, nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars and ninety-nine cents, or whatever. Never been good in math. It's an ADHD thing. But he was let go with pay, and then a pending investigation, the RCMP charged him. The day he was supposed to show up in court, he didn't. They showed up home over his place, and there he was, he was dead. And next thing you know, the issue is dropped. How did a guy like that stole a million dollars? But the media don't ask any question because there were, I think it's because he used to be a journalist, so at the old boys club. But there's a million dollars gone that supposedly he had the money and it was transferred to a friend account. So how many friends transfers friend to friends accounts is there in Fredericton? How come the media is not really questioning where did the money go? But if a welfare bum steals or frauds the government a thousand dollars, oh my god, this is a crime. We will. We, they cut off their welfare check. They're on the street. They go to jail. So really, the media is so small. So it's sad, it's sad that I can't confront politicians like I used to. Plus, everybody wears masks these days. Now they wear a fucking hood. You know, excuse my language. They wear a hood. <laughs> you don't know who they are. But, uh, no. So, cyber security. What kind of scam artist was that guy, anyway? 